the next home of the building was on North Bell Street, and that's the one which puts it right next to the Mass General. When this building was excavated about 25 years ago, they found a tea set engraved from the owner to the dean of the Harvard Medical School. Now, this picture is of the Mass General at that time. Here's the original building, the four pillars right in there. There's the ether dome, and there is a wharf at which patients arrived by boat and transported by litter up into the then Mass General, which was the Bullfinch building. That is where my wife was the head nurse, and that is the window behind which we met in 1950. Uh, one when I was a student. The next major home is Boylston and Exeter Streets. It is right next to the Boston Public Library. So this building was put up by Elliot, the then president of Harbrook. It was the first place that students had laboratories, but it's very meaning namely that there would be laboratories and research predicted it would be too small. And within less than 50 years, the school moved to where we are at the present time physically, which is in the so-called Longwood campus. This is its sixth and last home and I doubt it will move because it's just too big and uh, awkward to picture a major move from here. On the right and left, there are four flat buildings which are used for laboratories, amphitheaters, research space. But the architect looking up to where we're sitting, we're right in there, wanted it to be a temple. This is where the students would learn and rededicate themselves to the art and the fundamental principles of medicine. <laughs>